What is up guys, Zombie one here with a brand new series for my channel. We're going to be looking at some of the best FIFA players, pro players that play in the weekend league, they play in the International World Cup, and their strategy. And we're going to be breaking down their gameplay to hopefully give you guys some tips based on what they do, what makes them successful to hopefully help improve your game. We're going to start off with the very best FIFA player. He won the FIFA 17 International World Cup. His name is Spencer, otherwise known as Huge Gorilla on YouTube. He's part of the Unilad eSports team and he is absolutely amazing at FIFA. So we're going to break him down, give you guys some analysis on his gameplay and hopefully you guys can learn a few things. Alright guys, so Gorilla is a pro FIFA player like I said before. He plays for Unilad. He is the winner of the 2017 FIWC. He's a six-time Gfinity champion and this year he won the UK eSports player of the year. So like I said before, we're going to break down his overall gameplay and tell you guys exactly what he likes to do and why he's so successful. His formation and custom tactics, the formation he usually likes to run with is the 4-1-2-1-2 second variation. Sometimes if he's struggling a little bit, getting some runs going or scoring some goals, he might switch to the 4-2-3-1. But usually he likes to stick with this 4-1-2-1-2 second variation. If he doesn't start off with that, he might switch to it at the beginning of the game he might go with the 4-3-2-1 and switch over to this 4-1-2-1-2 second variation custom tactics you can check out his full custom tactics on his channel where he goes into details but really this is the main gist of it he's very aggressive as you can see there he likes to push the ball up and do quick attack Alright guys, let's start off with his attack, which is absolutely deadly in all FIFA, especially once again here in FIFA 18. He likes to do the quick attack. He likes to push the ball up the pitch. He's not one of those players that's going to stay and do possession, pass the ball, do a lot of precision dribble. No, he usually likes to tell his players to make runs. He's really, really good at telling his players to make runs and get up the pitch quickly, especially if he's versing a lower tier player, maybe not another pro player player he really likes to score early and score often so he's going to push the ball up tell his players constantly to make runs and with his custom tactics it really allows his players to constantly be pushing up the pitch and making quick movements he likes to do quick short passes so a lot of one two passes you're going to see here he does a lot of different one two passes and wait for those runs to develop he doesn't want to take his time. He doesn't really want to do a lot of horizontal or backwards passes. He wants to do a lot of passes with purpose to move the people up the pitch. So he's going to do a lot of quick, short passes, one, two passes, as you see here. And if you give him some space, he is not afraid to take some long shots and he's extremely deadly with them. By far, his best skill, especially in attacking, is his ability to buy time for those runs to develop and to perfectly time his passes so he gets one-on-one -on -one situations against the keepers and is able to score quickly and often. If you watch some of his Twitch streams of the Foot Champions or maybe some of his YouTube videos of the Foot Champions, you can see just how many goals he scores in these one-on-one -on -one situations, breakaway situations, and it seems like it's just because he's versing easy opponents, but it's not. It's just because he's able to be so good at buying time either by doing skill moves or protecting the ball for those runs to develop and then perfectly time and that's something you can't teach that's something you just really have to practice and get better at and learn and it just takes a lot a lot of practice and he's able to do it perfectly always timing his passes perfectly doing exactly the right custom tactics to make sure that his players make some good runs but of course, there's going to be times where he's not going to be able to just push the ball up the pitch. He's going to have to take it slower near that penalty area. And that is when he becomes really, really good at doing simple but yet effective skill moves. He's really, really good at timing his skill moves and getting through those last line of defense. He has to slow the ball down a little bit. He's near that penalty area. There's a lot of defenders in the way. What he really likes to do is just do roulettes, fake shots, ball rolls, all these simple skill moves. And he's just able to time them perfectly, gain some space. If he beats one defender, that opens up space. And he's very, very unpredictable with his shots, what makes him extremely deadly. He'll shoot from anywhere near that penalty area, and usually when you're least expecting it. So if you give him some space for a long shot, you give him any sort of space, he ain't afraid to shoot it, and he will score, especially since he has a lot of really good players on his squad usually. He's able to score from all over the pitch any space he's going to take advantage of. 
Then we move over to his defense, guys, and his defense is actually quite unique. He's really, really aggressive with his defense. It's not necessarily something I would recommend if you're just not that great at FIFA or don't play as much FIFA, but since he's so confident in himself, he is not afraid to attack, even with his center back, even with his last line of defense. He is not afraid to challenge you. He has full confidence in his players, and even if they do score, he has full confidence that he's going to be able to score more goals than you. Once he gets to play against more pro players, more highly skilled players, a little bit more cautious, still very aggressive aggressive for a type of player usually most players are not necessarily as aggressive as he especially with his back line but usually he's a little bit more cautious he's always trying to get into those passing lanes into those shooting lanes and bait you into doing a quick turnover for him to go on the counter attack Again, he is aggressive, so that could lead to some goals scored against him. He will give up some goals, especially if he knows that he's already dominating you and he can score a ton of goals on you. He will give up some goals because he'll leave some gaps open in the end of the pitch and leave some easy opportunities for you to score, as you see here in this Foot Champions game. He dominated that game, but he did give up five goals mostly because he was just over aggressive and really wanted to get the ball quickly to go on the counterattack. But again, once he gets to pro players, he's going to be a little bit more cautious than that. Overall, guys, Gorilla's the best FIFA player. There is no doubt about it. He is the favorite once again to win this year. Extremely, extremely solid with his attack. His attack is so, so deadly. He's doing quick attack. He really likes to push the ball up the pitch, but when he has to slow it down near that penalty area, he's extremely good at doing simple skill moves, get past those players, and extremely unpredictable. He's good at all aspects. I always tell everybody, if you're going to be attacking, you have to be able to attack from all different aspects, either crossing, cutting the ball in. Don't ever be predictable, and that's exactly what he does. He's extremely unpredictable. He'll take shots from all over the pitch, and he will score from all over the pitch. His defense extremely extremely aggressive he has full confidence in his players to be able to cut them off to pressure them to bait them into making some mistakes for the quick counterattack. or if they do give up some goals he ain't gonna sweat it because he knows that he'll be able to score more goals than the opponent but that is it guys, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, share with all your friends. Click on one of these playlists, check out some of my other videos. I got tutorials with basically everything in FIFA 18, including attack and defend and passing, you name it, I got it. Top 5 videos of my top 5 skill moves, my formation guys, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much.